<sighs> you guys are gonna have to wait for me to give any props because boy oh boy, just Jesus <sighs> This was one of the sloppiest, just shittiest games I've ever seen. Like, I just, I just got flashbacks to week one for that entire game because all we were doing was just shooting ourselves in the fucking foot over and over again. <sighs> Jesus Christ, dude. How the f- I just- <sighs> Even though we won, this was just such- a disappointing performance, I feel like. If we had gotten any points on that fucking blocked field goal, or, uh, sorry, that blocked, um, that blocked punt, we wouldn't have even gone into overtime to begin with. Connor Williams, you are fucking trash. Just the amount of times that he set us back because of fucking penalties and fucking holding and Mike McCarthy in the fourth quarter with 50 something seconds remaining you know we get a crucial first down that gets us into Patriots territory and you keep with the fucking hurry up offense that's one thing that I will give Jason Gritting that's one thing I will give Jason Garrett credit for it's that when we were in those situations he knew he had a timeout. He knew that Dak Prescott gathering and giving, you know, the fucking, what the play call is, that would just take more and more seconds off the clock. Take a timeout, regroup, and then call a fucking play. But Mike McCarthy, he was just insistent on burning fucking 15 seconds for just no goddamn reason. And as a result, just that last timeout that we had in the second half, was just used for fucking nothing. It's just, it's, it seems like a nitpick, but this is a serious fucking concern. It will be a serious concern in fucking January. We had absolutely no business winning this game. We had absolutely no fucking business being close in this game. But we got bailed out, man. Whether... If it was Trayvon Diggs with the pick six, whether if it was just C.D. Lamb coming through with two touchdowns today, oh my God. <sighs> Over 100 yards in fucking penalties from today's game. I gave... Patriots were one of the worst rushing offenses going into this game. Dallas Cowboys had a top five run defense going into this game. So can you explain to me how the fuck their running backs, who I don't even know the names of even, they have double the amount of yards as fucking Ezekiel Elliott. They had one of the worst... Or, not one of the worst. They were like middle of the pack and run defenses. Or no, I think I said leading up, they had uh, one of the worst running defenses going into the game. Zeke and Pollard, for the most part, couldn't fucking get anything going. <sighs> My god, dude. This game... We would have won in much better fashion if we had... <sighs> If we would just stop getting in our own goddamn way. It pisses me off that we have a bye week. Because they're getting a week off. After a shit performance like this one. My god. That being said. You know. Besides all of that bullshit. Just, just besides. You know. The fucking penalties, the bad officiating, the retarded call by Mike McCarthy. I'm still not past that shit. On our first possession of the game, he goes for 
for a fourth and one, fourth and two on our own 30 yard line. <sighs> besides all of that, besides all of that, let's start giving credit. Um, Dak Prescott, he looked, not gonna lie, he looked kind of like shit in the first half, but uh, I feel like he pulled it together a little bit. Defense, you know, they were pulling it together, but then gave up two touchdowns in the fourth fucking quarter. Um, you know, Trayvon Diggs, he got a he got a pick six, a pick six, then immediately got burned by number eighty four, I think it was. But during that play, I was thinking, what the fuck was the safety doing? I guess Trayvon Diggs was trying to jump it because, you know, he wanted to swing his dick around a little bit after getting a pick six. But, and I, I guess he just made the mistake of having too much faith in his safety. Um, C.D. Lamb had a fantastic day today. Dak Prescott, he did, you know, he came through in the clutch as usual, as per usual. Um, <laughs> I feel like our play calling got better, um, you know, in the tail end of the game. Because for the most part, I was getting kind of pissed off at Kellen Moore a little bit. I mean, at that two-point conversion, you know, I, uh, I think to make it a three-point game, to make it 29-26 to versus New England, just a toss to Pollard, that was just shit. And he was just, he was so determined on staying with the fucking running game and sticking with it, even though we were going nowhere fucking with it. Um, I, I feel we did solid in covering um, their tight ends. You know, that's why I was saying we needed to do leading up to this game, and we did that. But, man, outside of that and outside of Randy Gregory, you know, defense just looked like shit today. You know, Micah Parsons, I feel like that this was his first bad game. Um, oh, my fucking God. I'm, I'm glad we had the heart to finish. I'm glad we had the heart to win this game. And that we came through big time in the way we did. And that is huge. And I'm happy about that. But we just played like complete and utter shit. And, you know, that just, that worries me a bit. You, you cannot watch this game and come to me and say, you know, with this whole rah-rah, we're winning the Super Bowl this year shit like we were a week ago, right? Like everybody was a week ago. Everyone was saying, oh, this team is different. You know, but this game, it just looked like the same old fucking Cowboys. <sighs> Mike McCarthy definitely has has to share the blame for the sloppy fucking sloppy toppy game that this was. Um... It was just it was just really stressful and it was really embarrassing and it was really disappointing. Um, just the way that we were playing this whole fucking time. But we got bailed out with the referees, you know, in overtime, not calling that face mask on Anthony Brown. We got bailed out by Deck. We got bailed out by Trayvon. You know, he got us back in the game, but, you know, I guess he got us back under the deficit. Um, we just, we have to get better. Absolutely have to get better. I'm pissed that this is the bye week because we, 
we got to work on this shit. But I'm also glad it's a bye week because, you know, the whole injury thing. Hopefully we get Gallup back, um, you know, Halloween versus the Vikings. Hopefully we get uh, Dorian Armstrong back along with Calvin Joseph and Neville Gallimore and others. But in the meantime, it's got to be the shirt. It's got to be... We've been undefeated since I've been wearing this shirt. Um, anyways... I'm ending it here. Let me know what you guys thought about this fucking shitstorm that we somehow ended up winning. I'll see you all next time. I'll see you next week or, you know, this week with my evaluation of this team so far. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to piss. I'm going to drink Coke. Peace.